Mm, all right. Well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. I guess third time's a charm for this video. I mean, it's not. It's not. It's not really like the third time. It's more like the second and a half time. I don't know. I don't really want to talk about it. What I want to talk about today is this tank right here. This is the Zlide tank. Inakin. P. Bissardo, Dimitri, mouth to lung, drop in coil head tank. Phil and Dimitri have released a few tanks through Inakin. They did that Eris RTA, which was a mouth to lung RTA. They did the Prism, I believe, as well, which was more of like a drop in coil head style mouth to lung tank. And then finally, we arrive at the Zlide. So, first things first, how does it vape? vapes really well. It's a great mouth to lung. Phil and Dimitri know mouth to lung real well and this shows that. This is a spectacular mouth to lung. Now it has some airflow holes on the bottom. It's got three little holes. I thought it was four. Oh it is four little holes. My, my eyes are playing tricks on me you see. There's four little holes across the bottom and even with the holes fully open it's still mouth to lung. It's not quite a restricted lung hit. Yeah, it's it's definitely not a restricted lung hit. It is still a mouth to lung. In fact, I like to close it down a little bit more. I like to close it down to the last two. Just, I set this to the last two holes. To me, with this tank, that's like the perfect mouth to lung. Mm. It works so well, the draw is so nice. There's a little bit of crackle in these coil heads. These are the Plexus Mesh 3D Canthal based coil heads. They have a 0.48 that comes pre-installed in it. That's the one I'm using now. And it also comes with a 1.6 ohm coil. The only difference is the resistance. The airflow does feel the same on both of them. Maybe the higher resistant one is a little bit tighter with the airflow, but not enough that I would say that it has like a different style airflow. Really, it's just kind of a, uh, it's kind of a resistance thing. So it, it vapes well, it is easy to take apart, it is easy to fill, and like I said, in order to fill it, you do have to take out the drip tip. If you leave this drip tip in here and you try to press on this, no, you're not, you're not gonna be able to open it. It's, it's more or less locked, but if you pull out, this drip tip and then you can slide this over and fill your liquid up in there. It does have a pretty large opening right there for your liquid. It doesn't have a secondary hole for air to escape, which in my opinion is always kind of a bummer. There's no reason to not include that. When you fill up a tank, the air has to go somewhere, man. And having a hole for the air to go through it just makes the filling process a lot simpler and a lot less messy. As it stands, this hole that they give you to fill up, it's fairly large and you can kind of hold your bottle off to the side and let the air come out as well. It's not that super huge big of a deal. It is fairly easy to fill up, which I was worried about. I was also worried about the liquid because my favorite liquid to use in mouth to lung is an 80% VG liquid. It's Water Malone, Liquid Barn. I mix it up and I vape the crap out of it in a 12 milligram, but it is an 80% VG liquid. And I always worry about putting Water Malone into tanks and into mouth to lung tanks because of that VG. I always, will it hold, will it, will it wick? Will this coil head wick in 80% VG juice? I'm very happy to report that it wicks it no problem. No problem at all. It is a little bit rough to start off with. You really have to saturate that coil head with liquid. And I went so far as to just turn off the airflow completely. Don't press the button and do a lot of these. Look for bubbles, and then do more of these. Look for bubbles, and then you let it sit, and you do more of those, and you let it sit, and you just have to make sure that the coil head is nice and saturated, but once that liquid gets into the coil head and starts flowing how it's supposed to be flowing, it just keeps up. 80 VG, no problem. It just keeps up, it just keeps up. This is probably, I don't know, the, the 10th or 12th time I filled up this tank, and it just goes, it just goes, and it just wicks. And the flavor on the Plexus Mesh 3D Canthal little coil heads in there, really great, 
really great flavor. Watermelon tastes like watermelon, and that's that is what I'm very satisfied by. Oh, open up the airflow first. Open up that airflow first there, Nick. What are you doing, fella? Okay, two airflow holes. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Are you kidding me? Great. It's just a great vape, and it doesn't like, I don't know, it doesn't produce mountains of vapor, but I'm honestly okay with that. With most mouth to lung stuff, I don't need it to produce a weather system. But it, it does fine. It, it does fine, and it's and it's real, real satisfying. So, look, I'm not going to be able to do any uppy closey stuff right now, just because I, I'm I'm pressed for time. Like I said, this is the second and a half time running through this, but Inakin always does everything just a little bit differently. Their tanks are constructed a little bit differently, and this slide tank is no different. I'm gonna be able to unscrew this base here, which is how you're gonna take out your coil head. This unscrews, and then you slide your coil head in and out of the bottom, like that. And this is still, eh, it's about half full. If this tank were any more full, liquid would be pouring out of the drip tip right now because I pulled the coil head out of there, but because this tank is empty, and the liquid's just kind of sitting right there at that level. I can do this, you can pull this out, put a new coil head in. There's just two little tabs, and they're not even tabs, and you'll see this once you get the tank, but the coil head has two flat spots on the side. All right, you want me to try to show you? I will try to show you. Here's the coil head, and you're gonna be able to see maybe two flat spots like on either side of the coil head. There's a flat spot there and a flat spot there. Those just line up with the flat spots right there. It can only go in one way. You'll know instantly if you're doing it correctly or incorrectly. Little flat spots just line up with the flat spots. Then you can put this on and you're good to go. The whole tank does fully break down. There's a little threaded area right in there. It fully breaks down, comes apart into two pieces. The glass just slides out real nice and easy to take apart and rinse and put back together. It's a very, uh, it's a very straightforward tank. I didn't feel like there was even any like instructions necessary and maybe that's just because I've been vaping for a while and I know how tanks kind of go together but I feel like e even if you just got into vaping you could kind of figure this out you go okay like this in the coil head and you fill it up and cool and now I can vape it maybe I cannot vape it oh I took the I took the tank off so it asks me besides that I've been rocking this slide which is by the way two mil capacity 22 millimeter diameter on top of this little Inokin Chroma A. Rad. It's just been super rad. In fact, I need to fill up the tank right now so drip tip comes off. I can slide this over and then I can just take my liquid with the cap off. Just kind of hold it to one side. I just kind of fill it up. It's a little two mil capacity. It's fine for mouth to lung. I feel like a two mil capacity. I don't I don't blow through juice with this like I would with like a sub ohm tank where you're just cranking, cranking through liquid. You don't you don't really crank through liquid with this. So the two mil capacity, it's been fine. It hasn't really bothered me. And most of all, besides being a well constructed tank, besides having nice fit and finish and a nice little slidey little locking feature, besides having really nice airflow, it vapes so well it just it just vapes so well i'm a mouth to lung guy i'm not I, I always call myself a mouth to lung snob but i hate that term snob i've just been doing mouth to lung a real long time like back in 2009 when i started vaping that's all we had was mouth to lung it was all mouth to lung so that's how i'm kind of accustomed to vaping i love my clouds bro clouds but i love a good 12 milligram mouth to lung and this is an incredibly satisfying flavorful mouth to lung vape Phil and Dimitri and Inakin I think they killed it with this slide tank good 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 it's just so good um what did I say two millimeter or two mil capacity 22 millimeter diameter brass tacks let's get down to brass tacks you're gonna need your vape budget hands for the slide no, not really. In fact, I would be surprised if if this was an expensive tank. It's not clicking around the internet. I found it for about 20 bucks, man, which that falls into the it's cheap enough just to try it or just to buy it just to try it out. If you're looking for a 
really good mouth to lung, the Zlide is gonna provide a really good mouth to lung. If you've never had a mouth to lung before and you're kinda like, well maybe I'd like to try this mouth to lung thing out, Zlide, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be flavorful, it's gonna be satisfying, it's gonna be mostly fiddle free. It's a very straightforward tank, like I said. I just really like it. I know it's not really a hypey tank. I know that there's not much like fanfare for this tank. Nobody's Zlide, there's no hype for the Zlide, but it's awesome. It's a, just a really damn good tank. This is such a sleeper tank. It's it's such an underrated tank, and I think it's great. I think this is the I think this is the best mouth to lung drop in coil head tank, maybe that's out right now. Certainly that Inakin, Phil, and Dimitri have ever done. This is the best thing that they've released. Anyway, I feel like that's more than enough rambling from me. Links are not allowed in the description, so you're gonna have to use your Google Foo, but thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, yes, boosh. Let's keep on vaping. <laughs>